সত্তর বছর ধরে রানীর আসনে থাকা দ্বিতীয় এলিজাবেথ ছিলেন ব্রিটিশ জনগণের মনেরও রানী আর তাই মৃত্যুর পর পুরো যুক্তরাজ্যে নেমে এসেছে সুখের ছায়া সাধারণ মানুষ তাদের ভালোবাসা জানাতে বীর করছেন রানীর অফিসিয়াল বাসভবনগুলোতে এদিকে অটোমেটিক্যালি নিয়োগ পাওয়া নতুন রাজা চার্লস আজ প্রথমবারের মতো জনসমক্ষে এসেছেন গ্রহণ করেছেন মায়ের প্রতি জনগণের সহমর্মিতা ব্রিটিশ পার্লামেন্টেও রানীর স্মৃতির প্রতি শ্রদ্ধা জানিয়ে বক্তৃতা করেছেন প্রধানমন্ত্রী লিস্ট্রাস লেবার লিডার স্যার কেয়ার স্টারমার সহ সরকার ও বিরোধী দলের সংসদ সদস্যরা In the hours since last night's shocking news, we have witnessed the most heartfelt outpouring of grief at the loss of Her Late Majesty, the Queen. Crowds have gathered, flags have been lowered to half-mast, tributes have been sent from every continent around the world. On the death of her father, King George VI, Winston Churchill said the news had stilled the clatter and traffic of 20th century life in many lands. Now, 70 years later, in the tumult of the 21st century, life has paused again. Her late majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, was one of the greatest leaders the world has ever known. Amen. She was the rock on which modern Britain was built. She came to the throne at just 25, in a country that was emerging from the shadow of war. She bequeaths a modern, dynamic nation that has grown and flourished under her reign. The United Kingdom is the great country it is today because of her. The Commonwealth is the family of nations it is today because of her. Today, our country, our people, this house, are united in mourning. Queen Elizabeth II was this great country's greatest monarch, and for the vast majority of us, it feels impossible to imagine a Britain without her. All our thoughts are with her beloved family, our royal family, at this moment of profound grief. This is a deep and private loss for them, yet it's one we all share, because Queen Elizabeth created a special personal relationship with us all. That relationship was built on the attributes that defined her reign. Her total commitment to service and duty. Her deep devotion to the country, the Commonwealth, and the people she loved. In return for that, we Thanks. loved her. They will it speak of it for the rest of their lives. That I rise to pay Even those to who never Majesty met her, her late Majesty's image is an icon and on for what Britain stands for as a nation. On our coins, Yesterday on our stamps, we all and in portraits around the world. Time. But in our hearts of hearts, we hoped never would. But as we mourn a beloved monarch, we must always remember that she was a mother a grandmother and a great-grandmother, and my thoughts and prayers are with King Charles III and the whole of the royal family. I know that today there are countless people in this country and around the world who have experienced the same sudden access of unexpected emotion. And I think millions of us are trying to understand why we are feeling this deep and personal and almost familial sense of loss. Perhaps it's partly that she's always been there, a changeless human reference point in British life. The person who, all the surveys say, appears most often in our dreams, so unvarying in her pole star radiance that we have perhaps been lulled into thinking that she might be in some way eternal. But I think our shock is keener today because we are coming to understand in her death the full magnitude of what she did for us all. Shakir Hussain, AB News, London.